In the West Midlands, Wayne manages over 1,000 tenants, and one of them has upped and left, but not without leaving behind a rancid reminder of his residency. Oh, my, 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 my. This tenant has left it in a really nasty state. There's fag ash, there's broken CDs, there's empty pop bottles. I can see bottles of strange yellow stuff, which I assume is urine. There's just a splash of just craziness in here. But this is a shock. With a grime scene such as this... It is stinking in here. There are only two men that Wayne knows are up for the job. Meet Jacob and Wojtek. We've got bottles of pee, we've got ash and, and cigarettes everywhere, we've got dirty bedding. OK, if you could uh, carry on with the job, I'll see you in a couple of hours. Thanks, guys. These Polish warriors have stomachs of steel and are not easily phased. It's disgusting. It's bad. It's bad. Yeah. He was druggy. Very old rubbish milk. It's disgusting. <laughs> It takes a lot to give these boys a shock. <coughs> I don't believe it, Mao. But a cupboard full of stale urine <coughs> is enough to take even their breath away. Piss smell is really, really bad. <coughs> it's bad. That's not the first time. I see the piss in the room, the people with the wee in the bottles and everything. I even see the people do poof in the bags and throw it away through the window and everything. When it comes to extracting the urine, the boys just have to go with the flow. I was very, very sick in there. It was, you know, we everywhere, loads of rubbish and everything. This is one job that Jacob will be glad to see the back of. I hope then I'm not going to have more jobs like that today. But the cleaning duo are in for an even bigger shock on their next call-out. 